Hi friends, I got an email from another viewer today that asked me about where I thought were good places to stay when you come into Ecuador, whether you come into Monta or into Cuenca. His name is Ron. I agreed to not reveal his last name out of respect for him and for his privacy. And I thought I would just do this little short video to uh, show you a screenshot of the two cities and the areas that I think that you should target as a potential place to stay when you come into town either at an Airbnb or a short-term rental. So here we go. I'm doing something new that I haven't done before so we're gonna see how well this works. As you can see here this is the city of Monta, all right? And in this city here here is the main port area right here. Here is Marseille Lago, this Playa de Marseille Lago. That's the main beach that's right here. And I'm going to remove that right quick. As I zoom in to this map, you'll see right here, this area here called Pedro Balda. Okay. Oro Verde Monta, Mall del Pacifico. I'm going to say that any Airbnb that you find from this area to here will be a good location. It will be relatively quiet. I'm not saying that there is not any out in this area, you know, I'm not saying that. But what I want to, main thing I want to tell you about as far as here in Monta, if you stay in this area down here, okay, you're going to be in an area that on Friday and Saturday nights there's a lot of partying going on on the street, okay? And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to zoom in on this area. This is Calle 32. This area right all along here is called Restaurant Row. And if you look up here, I'm enclosing in this circle, this whole area, this is what they call Barbasquil. Here's the Wyndham right here. Here's the Poseidon right here. Here's Plaza del Somanta. Montajos is right here. Buzios is down in this area somewhere, I believe. Okay, and Riva de Mar is right up in here. On Friday and Saturday nights, all this area right in here, this street, all down in here is one big giant party neighborhood. Cars come in, young people come in with their loud sound systems. They have their trunks open and their lids up and big speakers and they party and they party loud and late. So. A lot of people may not like the fact that I'm revealing this, but I'm just telling you the truth. If, you're, if you don't have a problem, bring some earplugs with you. Get to the foam earplugs that you can squeeze into your ear and they swell up and close off literally all the sound. I use them even in this little quiet neighborhood that I'm in and it works great. So that's the main areas in Monta. Okay, Barbaskill, I'd say it's okay, you can find a lot of Airbnbs, but you may have to deal with a little bit of party noise on the weekend. But down in the first area that I showed you in Marseille Lago, uh, I live in that area and it's relatively quiet and there's, there's enough Airbnbs that you'll be able to find something in there. There's probably Airbnbs, of course there's hostels everywhere, you know, but there's probably Airbnbs um, all throughout Monta that you can find, but you, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming here that you want to be close to the coast or closer to the beach. A lot of these areas you can have ocean views, you know, and much nicer place. Okay, so now let's go to Cuenca. I'm going to zoom out here, and we will travel down to the great city of Cuenca. As you can see from here, Cuenca kind of runs east and west. All right, I mean here's kind of, well, not really east, well, yeah, I guess southwest to the northeast, okay? North, obviously, is this way here, okay? So, uh, in Cuenca, the area 
there's a couple, there's actually three areas. There's actually four, but I can't remember the name of one of them, but the, you hear a lot about Gringolandia. And as I zoom in here, Gringolandia, let's see how, how easy this will be for me to find. Over here, you see this road here called Ordinez Lasso. Where are you, Ordinez Lasso? Get out of there. Um, this is the real Tommy Bamba running along here. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Well, I found it just a minute ago and went right to it. Uh, oh, oh, oh my goodness, I'm way off, way off, way off, way off. Over here. <laughs> Over on this side of Cuenca, it's Gringolandia. Here is Ordinance Lasso, goes right through here, all up and down through here. I'll mark it on the map here for you. Ordinance Lasso, here it is. Major thoroughfare, it goes all the way out of Cuenca, all the way down to Waikil. But this area right in here, all this area down in here, is what I believe is considered Green Orlandia. Okay? Also, you can go down in this area, right in here, and there's a lot of uh, uh, Airbnbs that are in that area that are nice, okay? And then, of course, you have the historical district, which is down here. Here's Parquet Calderon right here. This is where the big the, the three blue domes are. Uh, one of the favorite places down here is, uh, let's see if I can find it, and I'll show you. Um, there is a, it's called Grand Columbia Suites, and it's real, it's like, with, there's Grand Columbia right there. Let me see if I can find Grand Columbia Suites for you. It's real close to Parquet Calderon, so here's the big church right here, Grand Columbia Suites. Here's Grand Columbia. Grand Columbia Suites is... Why can I not find it? I was just there. Uh, Grand Columbia Suites. Well, okay, I'm sorry. I'm not going to waste your time trying to locate. It's in this area. Grand Columbia Suites is in this area down here. Okay, so it's down right in the heart of the historical district. It's like three blocks away from Parque Calderon and the Big Blue Dome. It's a great big church. It took 145 years to build. But anyway, and then there's another area in Cuenca also that's pretty popular for expats. And, but I can't remember what it's called. But it's over, it's over in this area over here, down in this area. There's a lot more places in Cuenca that are really nice places to stay at Airbnbs. But I have to say, from my own personal experience being there, that the uh, Gringolandia, right along the Tommy Bamba River, was really very, very nice. Okay, and it's 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 really quiet there too. Okay, so I hope that helps. I'm sure there are other people that probably have other opinions about better places to stay, but that's what I got to show you for now. Okay, have a nice day, and I will see you guys on the next one. Ciao, ciao.